Hello friends, Aunt Kitten here. I thought I'd just pop in and let you see me in real life. If you've never met me before or if you haven't seen me recently, a week ago I got my hair cut and I got 14 inches cut off. So, and those are now on their way to Locks of Love. I remember doing Locks of Love when I was a kid. I had no idea that they were still going strong, but they take hair donations and make wigs, especially for, I think, for children who have some uh, illnesses that cause them to lose their hair. So anyways, just wanted to say hello. I have been off of for the most part, I've been off of Instagram and Facebook during Lent, and we've got a few weeks left to Lent. Hope that you're, if you celebrate that, that it's it's a good, it's been a good time of reflection for you. So I've not been doing ice cream posts. I know that some of my readers have been missing those. So I just thought I'd let bring you up to date. We have made a... Uh, I had a chocolate java chip hot chocolate mix and made ice cream with that, and that was quite tasty. Um, we used some apple butter and made apple butter ice cream. That was very different and good. And let's see, we, um, we made peanut butter ice cream and put Trader Joe's peppermint jojos in it that was delicious and last week so this will be along with travel i guess we went from jacksonville down to plant city and had ice cream and strawberries at perksdale farms and then picked up a flat of strawberries we brought them back and have frozen most of them because we will do a neighborhood ice cream social sometime in the next month or so so this time we will serve strawberry ice cream. And then, you know, we needed to make sure that it would taste okay. So we made um, strawberry ice cream for us this past weekend. And it was very good. Let's see, what else is um, going on? I am in the process of brainstorming my new, another book. And if you read... There's Only One You with Aunt Kitten. Then you may have noticed the quote-unquote Easter egg, which is a little tree frog. He was shy and did not speak, was not um, referred to in that book. But I'm thinking that I want to have him make a debut in this next book. So trying to think through that. Uh, again, kind of on characteristics and, and uh, talents, to encourage children to, you know, don't try to put a square, a square peg in a round hole. If you're good at something, then do it. And if you're, you know, if you don't enjoy it or you're not that great at it, if, you know, I mean, of course, we're always going to have to do something that we don't enjoy. But uh, for the long haul, find something that you enjoy doing and uh, then find a friend that does the things that you don't enjoy doing or don't do well and work with them. So... That's where I am. If you are a cat lover, just wanted to let you know that next Tuesday, March the 28th, is Respect Your Cat Day. So in case you want to celebrate that. All right. That's it for uh, saying hello in March. See you next month.